Aloha friends. I am going to show you how to make the newest craze, a butter board that will not melt. And it's super delicious. Check it out. So to start your butter board that won't melt, you're going to start with a stick of butter and we're going to melt it. We're actually going to make brown butter. So you're going to put that in a pot and heat it to high heat. All right. And You're gonna to wanna to whisk nearby because this can happen pretty fast. Don't be planning anything else if you've never browned butter before. Uh, I brown it so much I can actually hear when it's done, but uh, you'll see this because it's going to make a lot of noise, be really sizzly, and then it gets quiet and it will froth up and make brown butter. And that's when I know to come back. <laughs> but if you've never done that before, I make it all the time. Um, brown butter is the most amazing thing. If you've never made it before, you're going to love it. It tastes like caramely and yeah, it tastes like a caramel butter. It's awesome. It tastes great on shrimp. It tastes great on fish. Uh, I love it on a steak. Um, gosh, you name it on protein sparing bread. <laughs> um, but this is what you're going to do to start. And, uh, this morning I already made pumpkin ice cream. So if you haven't seen that video, check that one out. Kai, Kai, is that your favorite ice cream? Yeah. Pumpkin ice cream. Pumpkin ice cream. Yay. So, and what came in the mail yesterday? My His costume. What's your costume? Spider-Man. Spider We're all going to be Marvel characters for Halloween. We're going to Disney World. And we're dressing up. And Kai is Spider-Man. Kai, who am I? Uh, Valkyrie. And those costumes are going to be very hot. I don't know what we're going to do in Disney. It's crazy. But you can hear it's getting louder. And this is so good. I, make, I suggest making a double batch. I usually do. But I just want to show you how to make one batch. Work smarter, not harder, people. When I make things, I usually make a double or usually a quadruple batch, and then I just store it in the freezer. I wouldn't store this in the freezer, but like my sloppy joes, we made sloppy joes yesterday. I make a big batch, I store it in the freezer for easy meals when I'm busy. So, this is brown butter. And now you can hear it getting quiet. It's going to froth up and you'll see brown flecks start to appear. And this only took less than three minutes. So everybody has time to do this. See, you can see it's turning brown. This is when you want to whisk it. If you do not whisk it, it will turn black. And black butter is a thing in France, but it's not good. It tastes like burnt butter. Yep. So you can stop at this point, but I'm gonna keep going to make it darker. All right, now I'm gonna turn it off. Keep whisking and keep it on the hot stove top because it will turn a little bit more brown. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that dark caramel color. All right, so now let's make the board. So now to make the butter that won't melt, you're going to get a blender out. You could use a stick blender if you want to, but I like using a blender. You're going to place a block of cream cheese in there. And then you're going to add, if you want to, but I highly suggest doing it, some truffle salt. We're going to add about um, a half a teaspoon of truffle salt if I can find my teaspoon. I'm just going to use a regular spoon. Here we go. So. Half a teaspoon, fourth of a teaspoon. Maybe start with a fourth, see if you like it. Um, this is my favorite truffle salt. It's about $11 on Amazon. I'm almost out of it. Um, I got this truffle salt when I was in Greece. And this is the one we're going to use today because that's what I have left. And it's all still good. I'm just a connoisseur, I guess. I'm going to add, that's, this is a fourth of a teaspoon, so I'm going to add two of these to get a half a teaspoon. And when you brown the butter, I forgot to say this, make sure to use salted butter. Unsalted butter does not brown very well. And so use salted. So this is why we're not adding a ton of salt to the mixture. Now add your brown butter. And what I'm going to do, it's hot. 
I'm gonna add some, a little bit, maybe a fourth of a cup of beef broth to the pot. That's gonna help kind of, there's still some brown flecks in there and you wanna get all of that because that's that caramely goodness. Put that in there. And then we're gonna blend that up. out of the dishwasher here. Here we go. And Blendtex, very generous. If you use code MARIA20, you save 20%. And this is what it's going to look like. Oh, it's really hot. It looks like this. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to put it into the fridge um, and it's going to set even more before we put it onto a board. You can taste it at this point if you want to add more truffle salt. Um, if it's too salty, you could add some more cream cheese if you want to just to get that saltiness out but you know you could always add more this is what I tell Kai he loves to cook you could always add more you can't take away so this is gonna go into the fridge okay so after the brown butter mixture has chilled it's nice and spreadable now and I'm just gonna spread that all over my board here and <laughs> you could just put this in a jar and serve it with a steak I often do that every day I really like this so you just spread it out and then you can top it with whatever herbs you want. Um, Craig did this really cool thing when we built our house. He got this thyme to grow in between our little stone walking path. So we always have uh, thyme <laughs> growing in the yard. It's really cute, which I love. So we'll spread it out, make it beautiful, whatever you want. And I toasted some protein sparing bread here. And I also have a filet mignon sliced. That's what I would like to serve my board with. But I also have cracker recipes, um, keto cracker recipes, if you wanna use those, whatever. So here we go, here is our board. And I'm gonna top it with some fresh thyme. Make it beautiful. And I have some edible flowers. Ah, shoot, sticking to my finger. I love that color. It's beautiful. Just put a couple on there. I don't think they taste that great, but they're beautiful. And there you have it, a butterboard that's not gonna melt and it's I think it tastes better than just plain butter. It's amazing. Um, and I like to serve it with a tenderloin steak, which I eat every day after my run. And my protein sparing bread. I toasted that up a little bit, but check it out. Share this video with your friends and show them how delicious healthy eating can be. Mahalo. If you wanna change your life, like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux, I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, I had depression, I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, and food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you wanna eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me, and personal help with supplements or modifications, if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo.